there are places in this universe where reality breaks, time bends, space distorts, and once you fall in, there is no way back. We call them black holes. But what if they aren't cosmic dead ends at all? What if inside some of them, the end becomes a never ending now? Imagine an explorer has crossed the point of no return. They are past the event horizon of a massive spinning black hole. This is it, the end. Or is it? What if the end is just the beginning? What if, instead of being squashed into nothing, they find themselves on a path that circles back on itself, confining them to an endless replay of their own past? What if they had to watch their own mistakes, their own triumphs, and their final moments, again and again, forever, held within a cosmic time loop? This isn't just a sci-fi trope. It's a mind-bending possibility hiding inside Albert Einstein's own equation of relativity, a concept called closed time-like curve. The journey doesn't start at the edge. It starts much farther out, as a lone explorer guides their ship towards the inky blackness of a rotating behemoth. This isn't just any black hole. It's a curved black hole formed from a gravitational collapse of a massive spinning star. Imagine a star many times larger than our sun, burning for millions of years. As it exhausts its fuel, its core can no longer fight its own immense gravity and begins to catastrophically implode. But this star wasn't still. It was rotating. All of that rotational energy, the angular momentum from its long life, gets conserved and compressed. This inheritance of a spin is what gives birth to a curved black hole. And that spin changes everything. As the ship gets closer, the first sign that something is deeply wrong isn't the darkness. It's the sky itself. The familiar star field begins to warp. Stars stretch, duplicate and smear back into the arc of light that seem to circle back into the black hole. Their paths aren't straight anymore. The gravity here is so intense that it bends light into a swirling halo, a cosmic mirage created by the space-time itself. The ship is drawing closer to the first of its several boundaries, the Ergosphere. Back in 1969, the brilliant physicist Roger Penrose theorized that a spinning black hole would literally drag space-time along with it, like a mixer twisting honey. This swirling region of space-time is called Ergosphere. Here, space itself is moving faster than light relative to the outside universe. One cannot stand still, no matter how hard they fire their engines. The ship is caught in a cosmic whirlpool forced to orbit the black hole. There is still a chance to escape from here, but it would mean fighting against the current of space-time itself. But this mission is about going deeper, past the ergosphere, the ship approaches the outer event horizon. This is the real point of no return. To anyone watching from far away, something weird would be happening. The ship would appear to slow down, its image getting redder and dimmer. From their perspective, the time for the explorer is getting to a grinding halt. They'd see the vessel frozen at the edge of the abyss for eternity. But for the traveler inside, nothing feels strange. Their clocks tick normally. There's no jolt, no barrier. For a supermassive black hole, the tidal forces are gentle enough that they can drift across this invisible line without being torn apart. And just like that, they are inside. The universe the explorer knew is gone. Looking back, it can't be seen. The event horizon is a one-way door. Light from the outside can still fall in, but no signal from the ship can ever get out. The view ahead is even stranger. Space itself seems to contract, the field of view narrowing like the ship is hurtling down a tunnel. The light from the stars that fell in before is all here, their photons trapped along with the vessel. But this light is horrifically blue shifted by intense gravity, becoming a blindingly glare of high energy radiation. To understand what happens next, let's first think about a simple non-spinning or a Schwarzschild black hole. Once inside, the rows of space-time flip. The direction towards the center is no longer a place you can go. It's a moment in time you will arrive at. Moving towards the singularity is as inevitable as moving towards next Tuesday. But in a spinning curved black hole, the story is far more complex. Its rotation creates more intricate structure. Not one, but two event horizons. Having crossed the outer one, the explorer is now in the space between the two boundaries. Ahead lies the inner horizon also known as the Cauchy horizon. 
This is where things get truly wild. The Kaushi horizon is a frontier where past no longer determine the future. As the ship approaches it, theory predicts an extraordinary and likely fatal spectacle. Because time is so warped here, all the energy that has ever fallen into the black hole, billions of years worth of starlight and radiation, is thought to hit the Kauchi horizon at the same instant. This phenomenon, known as mass inflation, is expected to create a fantastically energetic barrier, a kind of firewall that would violently repel and likely destroy any traveler trying to pass through. It's one of the universe's most brutal security systems. But let's play by the rules of Einstein's equation in their purest form. Let's imagine our traveler is an indestructible observer in an impossible ship and they somehow survive the fiery gate of the Kaushi horizon. They pass through. What next? They are in a region of space-time so bizarre, it makes everything before seem normal. Here inside the inner horizon, Einstein's theory of relativity predicts its most outlandish feature. The extreme twisting of space-time doesn't bend space, it twists it so violently that it curves back on itself. The very rules of causality which can dictate what can influence what gets tilted over. They tilt so far in fact that they can loop around and point back to their own past. The explorer has entered a region with closed time-like curve or CTCs. These are paths through space-time that return to their starting point not just in space but in time. This is the mathematical basis for a time machine. Recent analysis for math for spinning charged black hole continue to confirm that these causality vaulting regions are genuine predictions of the equation hidden deep inside the inner horizon. At first, nothing seems different. The explorer is just navigating a zone of profound gravitational weirdness. But then they see it. Up ahead, a familiar shape, a small exploratory vessel. It's their own ship. They are watching themselves. Moment after they crossed the Kaushi horizon, they try to swerve, but it's no use. Their path is no longer a line, but a loop. They fly past their earlier self, watching the confused look on their own face. They have just completed one circuit. They have returned to their own past. This is the moment where our understanding of physics starts to fray, where cause and effects break down, and the journey becomes its most speculative. These ideas are right at the absolute edge of what science can comprehend. If you find this trip into the bizarre heart of reality as thrilling as I do, take a second to subscribe and join us for more journeys to the limit of the cosmos. There is so much more to unravel. The explorer is trapped. They are on a closed timeline curve, an endless loop they can't escape. Every move they make, every thought they have, has already happened. This pocket of universe is no longer a sequence of events. It's a static book of space-time that they are forced to trace over and over again. This brings us to that famous grandfather paradox. If one can go to the past, what stops them from changing it? What if the explorer tried to destroy their ship on a previous loop? If they succeeded, they'd cease to exist, so they could have never gone back to destroy their ship in the first place. It's a contradiction that seems to forbid time travel. Physicists have proposed a solution, the Novikov self-consistency principle. It basically says that if time travel is possible, the laws of physics will conspire to prevent any paradoxes. If the explorer tried to shoot their past self, the weapon would jam, an asteroid would appear out of nowhere, they would have a sudden change of heart. In short, they would have no free will. Their actions are part of a history that's already written. They are not an agent of change. They are an actor in a play that's already over, forced to repeat their lines for eternity. The explorer is a ghost in their own time like. They could scream a warning to their past self, but the sound would be lost in the chaos. They might try to crash their ship, only to find the strange gravity of CTC guiding them perfectly back onto their looping path. They are doomed to watch themselves and make the same choice and feel the same downing horror again and again. Their confinement isn't just special, it's temporal. They are held within a single repeating moment of their own life. But could this really happen? Many physicists, including legendary Stephen Hawking, thought that answer was a firm no. Hawking proposed what he politically called the chronology protection conjecture. 
He argued that the laws of physics must have a built-in mechanism to stop closed time-like curves from forming, making the universe safe for historians. What is this mechanism? The answer might be that fiery gate we imagined the explorer surviving, the Cauchy horizon. The same mass inflation instability that creates the energetic barrier is the top candidate for universe's paradox prevention system. The very formation of SETC would likely create violent instabilities, quantum fluctuations, tiny particles that pop in and out of existence would get caught in the time loop. As particles loop back into their own past, it would interact with itself, amplifying its energy with every single circuit. This feedback loop will grow exponentially, creating a singularity that would destroy the space-time geometry, effectively shutting down the time machine before it could be used. Ongoing research continues to support Hawking's idea, suggesting that these quantum instabilities would cause the region containing CTCs to collapse. So while relativity alone allows for these time loops to exist, the moment you add a reality of quantum mechanics, the whole structure may fall apart. The temporal loop might self-destruct the instant it was formed. Let's imagine one last wild scenario. What if the explorers survived the Cauchy horizon and found themselves in a stable time loop? Is there any way out? According to the mathematics, the singularity in a curved black hole isn't a point, but a ring. A ring of zero thickness but infinite density, spinning at dizzying rate. Some have theorized that it might be possible to pass through the center of this ring. Doing so, in theory, could allow an exit from the black hole, possibly emerging into a white hole in another universe, a bridge to another region of space-time. However, this is the deep in the realm of speculation. This wormhole scenario is considered highly unlikely by most physicists. Recent analysis suggests that even if CTCs exist, particles would be confined and kept a significant distance from ring singularity itself by other instabilities preventing any direct interaction. The path to other universe would be just as deadly, if not more so, than temporal confinement of time loop. So for our lone explorer, the reality is grim. There is likely no escape. The only option on table are eternity of repetition or a total annihilation by universe's own self-defense mechanism. The journey into a spinning black hole pushes physics to its absolute edge. It starts with strange dance of space-time in the ergosphere, moves past one-way door of the event horizon, then confronts the fiery chaotic gate of Cauchy horizon. Beyond that, in a realm of pure mathematical possibility, lies the notion of closed time-like curve, a cycle of time itself. While the elegant math of Einstein's relativity allows for these bizarre loops, other, more fundamental principles of physics seems to forbid them. The universe appears to have a powerful immune system against the paradoxes, likely in the form of mass inflation and quantum instability that would destroy any would-be time traveler. The time loop inside a black hole remains a tantalizing what-if scenario, a ghost in physics machine warning us how strange reality can get when it's pushed to ultimate extreme. Our explorer caught in that impossible loop is a thought experiment, a symbol that our quest to understand the deepest mysteries of the cosmos. They are forever failing, forever returning, a testament to the fact that in our universe, the line between beginning and the end can be unimaginably thin. And that leaves us with one last chilling question. If you were that explorer held in a loop, forced to relive a slice of your life for eternity, what would be that one memory? Thanks for joining this mystery into the heart of a temporal vortex. If you enjoyed bending reality with us, hit that like button, subscribe for more cosmos exploration, and ring that bell if you want to never miss a trip into the unknown. Until next time, stay curious.